Energy, the official energy supplier of the Philadelphia Union. Toyota, visit buyatoyota.com during Toyota's Safety First sales event. Why do University Retire Go Farther? Choose Widener. Acme, the official supermarket of the Philadelphia Union. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. Truemark Financial, go Union, go Credit Union, Truemark Financial. Bimbo, proud baker of Arnold, whole grains bread. And by Independence, Blue Cross, live fearless, learn more at IVX.com. Back here at Talon Energy Stadium, Chris Potty is chatting with the Sons of Ben as they fall in the regular season finale 2-0 to the New York Red Bulls. But again, the huge storyline, the Union are going to the playoffs for the first time since 2011. It will be a three versus six matchup. The Union is the six. They will travel to Toronto FC at this point. We do not know whether the Union will play on Wednesday or Thursday. Stay tuned to PhiladelphiaUnion.com tonight. Here's the Eastern Conference standings as the Union are in six. New York Red Bulls with the win solidify first. So the Red Bulls in New York City FC will be the two teams that have a buy. And now for the playoff matchups, Toronto FC against the Union, the 4-5 DC United against the Montreal Impact. Again, the Red Bulls in New York City FC. Well, by, keep in mind, if the Union win at Toronto, they can and will host a home playoff game. And now for their thoughts on these playoffs, let's go to JP Telecamera and Tommy Smith. Thank you, Dave. Final thoughts. Tommy, what are you going to remember about this season? Well, I'm going to remember all the entertainment that the Union gave. Remember, folks, they scored 52 goals. That added the way to get them into the playoffs, and that's a lot of dupes. I'll tell you one thing, a few more of them in the playoffs, and things could go very, very easily their way. They can score goals. It's dried up a little bit, but hey, there's always an end to a drought, and they're certainly hoping there's going to be in the playoffs, and so am I. Final thoughts for me, Tommy. The union have had goalkeeping issues for the last few years, you could say. Andre Blake has solidified that position. He had a fantastic year. He was an all-star. Kudos to the front office staff for the drafting of three players that ended up playing, starting a large amount of games during the season. And Rosenberg is definitely a candidate for Rookie of the Year in the league. And finally, Chris Pontius, to me, Comeback Player of the Year, a career year for Pontius. They kept him healthy all season, and he put up 12 goals and had six assists as well. So those are our final thoughts. Let's get some final thoughts from Marissa. Thanks, JP. Well, you heard it from the guys. You know, it wasn't the result they wanted here tonight, but they're not losing any hope or any faith in themselves heading into that playoff game against Toronto. This is a team that picks themselves up, they get together, and they all have a common purpose. They all know they each have individual roles that they need to play and they need to execute. And by far, this is the closest team the union has ever had in franchise history, meaning these guys get along. They spend time with each other outside of just playing soccer, and that pays dividends when it comes to what happens on the field. So although they might be a little disappointed tonight, I don't think they're going to be worried come Wednesday or Thursday when they have to take on Toronto FC, Dave. Okay. Thank you very much, Marissa. And depth was a huge factor. You have a minimum of two guys at each position this year. JP and Tommy hit it on the goalkeeping of an indisputable number one keeper at Andre Blake with an all-star season. Keegan Rosenberry is a right back. The Union go up and draft him out of Georgetown. He's paired with Josh Yarrow, and Keegan plays every minute of every game. The only MLS field player to do so. And so much versatility all over the field for the Union really will play dividends moving forward towards a playoff push. And again, it will be a 3-6 matchup. The Union will travel to Toronto FC. At this point, we have not heard from the league. We don't know whether the Union will play on either Wednesday or Thursday. So check PhiladelphiaUnion.com for that matchup in the broadcast carrier. But the Union are going to the playoffs for the first time since 2011 when they played the Houston Dynamo. And they're back and will play Toronto FC in Toronto. For JP Telecamera, Tommy Smith, Marissa Pella, and our entire hardworking crew, this is Dave Leto saying thanks for watching this evening. Union Soccer is produced by Dave Getz, directed by Nick Marchetta, and our associate producer is Carl Graber. The Union gets a playoff spot for the first time in five years. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everyone.